it was a little upsetting because I'd like to be able to show my history and I think school, it's a great place to be able to show that you know your true history and be able to be proud of it. A North Fort Myers high school student kicked off campus after driving her truck to school with Confederate flags on the back. She and her family turning to Four in Your Corner wanting to know, isn't this their right to express their freedom of speech? Four in Your Corner's Malcolm Johnson working to get answers. Malcolm? Patrick, as you know, the removal of the Confederate flag outside South Carolina's capital has kept the flag in the headlines. Most of the controversy stems from who it offends and how people feel about what it represents. Like many Southerners, this family says the flag represents their heritage, and there's no reason it should stop them from being able to park their truck on the campus of North Fort Myers High School. Of the three flags on this white pickup truck, two of them stopped 11th grader Sky Hunter from being able to park at North Fort Myers High School. On her first day of school, the security guard, then the vice principal, had a message for her. He came out and told me that I had to leave, and I asked him why. And he said that the American flag was fine to fly, but I couldn't fly my two Confederate flags. And she says when she protested, the vice principal had a firm response. He told me parking my truck there, it was my vehicle, my responsibility to get rid of the flags. And I told him, it's my vehicle, it's my responsibility. I should be able to fly what I, what I like on them. She says she didn't want to start trouble, so she went home and had her father drop her off at school. He was upset, too. It's a heritage. I mean, and I don't understand why she can't fly them. Freedom of speech, and I don't understand what's going on. So I asked the school district what was going on. I called and emailed the district throughout the day. They never got back to me. But shortly after school let out, the school's principal called the family to apologize. The principal tells the family she can now park on campus with all three of her flags. Sky tells me she didn't understand why she couldn't park there in the first place and says it wasn't just the message, but the manner it was delivered. I wasn't expecting to be told to leave right on the spot, and especially in such a rude manner that I was asked. She claims even if she wanted to take the flags down when she was asked to remove them, she couldn't because they're bolted in. The Lee County School District still hasn't responded to my two questions. One, why was she sent home in the first place? And two, why did the school officials change their minds and allow her to bring the flags on campus? I'll keep pressing for answers. Malcolm Johnson, Fox 4, in your corner.